What if Drake dropped today? Drake ain't dropped. That's another thing, though. Drake definitely not dropping. Nigga, Drake, Drake also, and this is what I'm saying, where Kanye's at is a very freeing experience, I would imagine, for him a bit. Especially if he doesn't have that inner desire, because he did it already. Like, yo, oh, I got to knock Drake off the top spot. If, if that's what's motivating him, you're going to be dropping music for a long fucking time. You're going to be doing features. You're going to be in the studio constantly, nigga. You'll never put out a, fit, a pair of tennis shoes again in your life. Because that's what Drake does all the time. He's only does his rap. Like, nigga, you, you're over here trying to bi build silos. You're in fucking you're in fucking Wyoming digging for oil. Like, you're in Paris, like, trying to fucking uh, uh, make the new crop top that Kid Cudi gonna wear. Like, you doing all type of stuff. Like, you, like this nigga Drake only doing one thing. Like Drake on like one thing. So anyway. Um Drake ain't so 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 to to me giving my reason why I think Drake ain't, ain't gonna drop today. Drake is dropping, and I think with notice, Drake is his own competitor. Like Drake, like even the talks in the last year. Yo, this is finally the moment. Drake falling off. Which, by the way, that conversations came up in the last three years, right? And by the way, he did a good job of shutting it up with Scorpion, right? Um, actually, the last four or five years, right? It's right around like 2017. Once Kendrick did Damn, like 2017. And, and remember Views, remember, like, I think people have warmed up to Views. Views has now gotten more important and sounds better in hindsight, but niggas used to hate on Views. You feel me? Um, but people have been saying this whole fall off thing, bro. The, the only time people will really have some solid proof when they're like, oh shit, like Drake is falling off. They're going to use him against himself. Yo, he drops on a Sunday. So instead of doing 800,000, Drake sells 400,000. Drake selling 400,000 first week on an album or even 300,000. Nigga, niggas will be like, yo, he's done. We told you little baby it's his time. Like, niggas is listening to young boy now. Like, niggas don't say anything. You feel me? So, again, it's one of those things where I think even Scorpion was an attempt to try to outdo himself and do something that would try to further his legacy. Like, Drake is on legacy timing right now. He's like LeBron in a way. I always compare him to LeBron. Like, man, LeBron been the best player. And, by the way, LeBron still wants to be the best player every year. But, like, LeBron knows that Right now in his career, it's about the legacy. Like, people want to mark the year when they're like, yo, yeah, Braun, Braun was never the same then. You feel me? Oh, this was the year that Braun got eliminated in the first round? Oh, shit. This was the what happened after this year. You know what I mean? So, it's legacy talk. I think Drake wants to continue to have class. I think he wanted to have a bona fide rap classic. That's why he was trying to separate the albums for Scorpion, right? I think he wanted to have a bona fide or a certified rap classic, and people still didn't really give him that, you know what I mean? And I think he kind of realized, like, man, fuck it. Like, you know, in conversations he had with me, niggas say, yo, my next album, I'm looking more towards nothing was the same. He's like, I believe that was a classic for me. That was around the right length, this and third. I'm going there with it. I have a lot more to talk about, because that's one of the things I was worried about. I'm like, yo, are you going to have a lot to talk about? Still, like, Drake is telling us everything about his life. You know what I mean? Like, how, like, how many more stories did he keep in the tuck about when he was 16 and, like, he snuck out the crib and stole a car, stole his, his, his grandpa's car, his uncle's car, and was taking some chick out on a date and piped her down, you know what I mean, in the bushes or some shit, you know what I mean? Or the chick in the strip club that, that did some shit. Like, he's told every story already, you know what I mean? So it's one of those things where now his life is less relatable. Like, when that nigga's going to talk about, oh, yeah, I just copped a new car, y'all niggas will never see it unless it's on my Instagram. Like, you're like, okay. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of bragging now, you know what I mean? Like, it, but it's natural. The nigga told you every broke story he had, now all the stories and new experiences he's making is some rich nigga shit. I just bought a cargo plane while your fucking other favorite rappers are renting little itty bitty jets. I'm on a cargo plane, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, that's the type of shit he got rap about now, you know what I mean? It is what it is. So, uh, um, people are going to judge Drake in terms of his sales if his sales is low. Compared to like his last album, oh, he f falling off. Honestly, I think they're gonna judge him if he don't got as much number ones. Think about Scorpion. Scorpion had Kiki, Do You Love Me, he had what else? What else? God's Plan. He had a bunch of songs, a plethora of music that was fucking just chart topping, dominating songs. Before that, with, with what project was it? He had One Dance, Controller. Like his 
albums have my and and truth be told, like we, we think about his, his albums as well. Well, I'll say more with views, and this is why I think views is is getting more. Let me look. Let me just make sure. What was on views? V views. Views sounds better, and we look at it better over time, because successfully, even though it came out in twenty sixteen, successfully, I think Drake was able to change the sound of music, like the different vibe. Everybody was making just like island type songs. I'm not saying Drake started it, but he was one of the main proponents to make that the thing in hip hop. Everybody, nigga, Tiger went to motherfucking Jamaica and was, was trying to make a song. You feel me? Uh, again, obviously, you got to give Rihanna credit, too, because work came before. Um, but, yeah, these were the bops and the vibes, man. Like, this this kind of brought out an international element in music because we saw it on More Life as well. So, that's all I'm saying. I remember people always talking about views or More Life. I remember, go back to the skit with me and Joe. I don't know if it's still up on YouTube for Everyday Struggle when we were doing an intro. Mad people used to say More Life was better than views. Fuck that. Views is better than More Life. Nigga, remember, more, more, Views was the the album that was supposed to be Drake trying to almost recreate Take Care. And obviously his life had progressed to a certain point. But even from the intro, keep the family close. You know what I mean? Him trying to address certain shit. You with me. You know, feel no ways. He was still rapping about some shit going back in his hometown. Western Road Flows. That was him... Doing that still was fucking with his, you know, um, uh, 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 um, his Houston, his Houston, like I don't know if we want to call it, like influence, faithful, you know what I mean? Introduced the vision, had Wiz Kid on that bit. Yeah, that, that shit was pretty good in hindsight. Views is views is better than more life to me still, but still, all in all, um, I think Drake, I think Drake's rollout at this point. I think whenever he's dropping an album, I'll be shocked. I'm so, which which if Drake finesse me, I'm gonna be tight. But I'm gonna I'm canceling all my plans for this this Thursday, okay? I'm ready for Drake to drop CLB. I don't think he gonna drop it, but in case he do drop it, we gonna be here on stream. Um, I don't know. It, it'll be an interesting time. I really think his rollouts are like this these days. Announce the album. Well, people know the title. Drop the album cover and drop a song. Get at two weeks. Do some motherfucking, he's going to do an interview. Like, Drake always does a big interview. Like, we know, like, we kind of know the Drake process. Like, we don't hear no interview coming out with nobody. We don't hear nothing kind of going on. Like, I do know he's been shooting music videos, but I ain't really hear what's going on. You feel me? Somebody say and truth be told, I think he, somebody just said it like, yo, he's dropping a single. Maybe he's just, yo, wait, thanks for that comment. Maybe he just drops a fucking single. Maybe he drops a single. I, I also think that Drake didn't want to line up with Kanye. Not because he thought that Kanye would have a better album. It's just that, man, Kanye just made a really meaningful personal album. Kanye West at this moment is once again reclaiming his cultural equity and people want to see him win. Kanye West pretty much put the whole fucking industry on his album. He got Shensia on songs twice. You know what I mean? Like, he brought Ruga out. Like, come on. Like, he's he's giving everybody an opportunity if you got some talent, right? And people want to see Kanye win. Like, just went through a divorce. You want to see him win. Like, that's the thing about also, like, even entertainment, but just in life in general. Sometimes you want to see niggas go up, and then when they go up too much, you be like, all right, you need to have a humbling moment. And then usually that moment, they love to see when you're down. You know what I mean? And right at the moment when, like, you're going to be down and out, they feel sympathy for you and they want to bring you back up. And I think right now people want to, once again, appreciate Kanye. Like, every everything everybody's saying about Kanye now, niggas was not trying to say when he had that little MAGA hat on. You feel me? Like, niggas like, fuck this nigga, man. So, you know, uh, people do change. So I, I think Drake didn't want to line up against him because Drake would gain nothing. Drake's going to probably put out a good album, but Drake don't need no musical competition to win you know what i mean and like if anything it would probably help kanye in in the competition aspect because in, in that aspect like people are gonna go from one to the other niggas gonna listen to drake just regardless um 